Hi Pisces, thank you so much for stopping by. So I am here to do your love reading. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, so I'm getting that for some of you here, Queen of Swords. There's maybe been something that you have either recently done in order to pass kind of the clouds around your third eye, around your um, intuition. So this may be something, I don't know, maybe it's something that you've done within yourself, some sort of healing practice. Or this could just be something energetically that's been happening within you to where your true kind of either your true purpose your true essence is coming more to the surface here i'm hearing no more skirting around so I, I guess that means like no more it's like the queen of swords is very direct the queen of swords is very forward very direct very clear so with the air element coming up here there could be something happening again about around clarity surrounding your mind surrounding the intuitive perceptions um yeah, I keep wanting to say that no more, I keep hearing that again, no more running around or like no more skirting around. So let's see, Spirit, tell us a bit more about this message here today. What is it that you're trying to say here? So I just saw the magician, but then it flew back in. We have the Six of Cups, but I think it wanted to fly out in reverse. Yeah, they're showing me a frog um, and how frogs kind of release through their skin. It feels like there is um, a lot of releasing happening right now on more than just a energetic level. Like this almost feels like something that could go quite deep. And for some of you, it may be connected to what I mentioned in the beginning. Maybe something about you being a trailblazer in some way. Maybe you are breaking traditions or you're doing something differently or you're just becoming more aware of what that is for you so maybe for example you're starting to feel more connected to your authentic truth um whether it's the way that you carry yourself or the way that you view life um or the things that you want to accomplish here in this world it's like spirit said in the beginning the world is yours or something like that came up um, the world the world is yours if you want it to be and so I just think that for a lot of you who chose this reading or not chose it but if you're here if you're drawn to this it's a sign and an indication that the time is kind of now and the time is is ready for this clearing to happen um, and so for most of you, you've probably been already feeling this because either, again, you've done something to allow that. Maybe you've just been really clearing your mind. Maybe you've been setting some kind of intentions or you're just ready to leave the past in the past. You're ready to leave the version of you behind that is outdated. Um, there's just something like that coming up here for whoever this message is for. Um, tell us a bit more, Spirit. We have the chariot. Yeah. Yeah. I just heard special talents. So for someone, um, again, this maybe have this could have to do with like your career. It may have to do with some talents that you have. It's going to be different for everyone, but maybe it's either a spiritual kind of uh, talent or in the spirit spiritual business, spiritual gifts, or it could be some other talent that you have. But I think it's definitely whatever that talent is. It is connected to a deeper purpose here for you. And this actually feels like a very big message. Yeah, the Three of Wands. You're definitely ready to expand on a very grand level, a grand scale. Something with this big tiger in the background. It gives me a feeling of support from your ancestors, support from your guides. Um, and it feels like this, you know, this woman in front of the tiger is like a that trailblazer energy I was getting. And I think with the Three of Wands here, I'm hearing congratulations. It's like there's a congratulations for the work that you've done on yourself. And I think that um, for some of you specifically, this actually, this current time right now could be like the prime time to start something. So maybe it's a business you're starting. Maybe it's something that you feel very passionate about. Maybe it's just the beginning of kind of the new you in a way, the beginning of the next chapter of your confidence. Um, it just feels like this is the time. And again they take me back to that message the world is yours if you want it to be so maybe there's something about even though i think with this queen of swords a lot of you have already been doing this and there's already clouds passing in your 
life and in your intuitive understanding of yourself and your life and your future maybe for some of you there's still kind of a bit of a final battle or like a final push beyond something that you're needing to release to understand fully that whatever it is that you want in this life can kind of be yours and i think spirit wants to say that here for somebody that this is a message of encouragement and a message of again i'm getting for a lot of you this there's something with family connected here that may not be for everyone but there's something connected to maybe you're you're breaking some sort of generational patterns or generational curses or you're someone who maybe you're deciding or you've chosen recently to walk your own way whether that's something that you're actually doing or it's just like energetically there's something about taking back your power but in this case it's like a fierceness to it and something connected to your family your ancestors could even be like certain again like traditions or belief systems and i think that some of you are very aware of this because you've been actively working on that others of you this is something more so happening at like maybe you're starting to feel if you're not kind of aware that you've been actively breaking those cycles maybe it's going to come in the form of you starting to feel like there's just an, a call for you to go into this different direction or to start blazing kind of this your own trail maybe you start to feel more inspired to make life changes maybe you're starting to feel more um yeah just encouraged and inspired to change your life in many ways and the spirit's saying that the reason for that is because of this because you're kind of you're you've you successfully overcome you've successfully outgrown and you have successfully kind of conquered something that was a belief system that had hindered your true self kind of and i think i'm hearing for some of you this has been a long time coming and i think for some they're referring to in this lifetime for others of you this is even like over the course of many lifetimes this has been kind of a long time coming for this true essence kind of of yourself to to fully kind of you know come out in that way what else would you like to say spirit for this message please we have the crone yeah and they're just showing me somebody that uh these ropes kind of have been detached from them and i'm being shown you kind of putting your hands like this to represent the fact that you no longer have those ropes it's almost like maybe you are um for some of you who are aware of this energy shift maybe you're just very proud of yourself and you're kind of almost showing you know yourself or you're showing the world like i'm no longer tethered i'm no longer attached and with the crone here I, I i do feel and i was getting from the beginning too this is for a very powerful group of souls who have um again a very important mission there's some deep ancient wisdom within you that you've always carried and um a lot of it is is now surfacing to the point where you can access it uh, and there's actually this hand here too so maybe there's something with a crow too or a raven um, but yeah it's like you can more easily access this or you're going to find very soon that a lot of doors of your gifts are unlocking um, whether that is something of again some of you this is like your psychic gifts but this is whatever talent all of them are spiritual because they're all a part of you know your soul and like what you've who you've evolved to be at this at this moment and past life gifts and all kinds of things so i do think that there's going to be um again a lot of certainty surrounding who you are and i'm being shown like a green light it's a green light and again that's a specific message for some of you who have been wondering like am i at the point where i have enough wisdom to start this am i at the point where maybe it could be so many different things maybe you're wanting to um have a youtube channel yourself doing readings or helping to guide others with your gifts it's like maybe you're wondering am i ready for this or you're starting to feel an urge to do that it's like the answer is yes you've gotten to this point of receiving this sort of award almost or this 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 kind of title um of the crone here and i think that for others of you this is just whatever that is that you feel guided to start opening a business or starting to leave your kind of mark or your your imprint on the world in whatever way that is for you so it's just like this is i'm hearing for some of you this is already manifested and for others of you i'm hearing like the next two to three months or something 
So either you're going to start to feel more of this in the next few months, maybe if you haven't fully found this path or you haven't fully understood this, you may receive a lot of downloads coming in in the next few months about like, this is the path for me or this is what I've always been meant to do or even just reaching a deep, deeper level of appreciation for the gifts that you do have and kind of being able to have that fierce confidence in yourself of like, this is who I've become. Um, so it's like you're definitely accelerating, accelerating very quickly in a spiritual way. I just heard leave, yeah, I just saw someone take off a very heavy backpack like full of a ton of bricks and I just heard leave the past in the past and obviously we have the six of cups here in reverse and I think that's going to mean different things for everybody for some it's definitely going to be about um, an actual situation maybe it's really time to let go of something from the past that you know because with the air element of the of the sword it's kind of giving me like it, if it's weighing the air down you know if that makes sense like you're supposed to kind of be in a light and airy breezy kind of energy where you're free to have your ideas come to life and you're free to use these gifts so whatever this is that you feel intuitively like it's time for me to leave the past in the past then that's a call to do that it could also be that this is still the, the sense of like the conditioning the belief systems certain things that you've attached yourself to it's time to release that from the past now and you've already i think you've already done that if that's the case you've been able to release those I'm seeing a lot of tears, okay, so some of you could be crying or you need to cry. Um, this is, yeah, the storm, and I and I will do a more in-depth reading on this energy because I've been feeling a lot of, like, intense energy, too, so I think that this is, there's, there's a big kind of storm happening here that is very intense for a lot of you and i think that um if you have either been needing to cry this is an, a call here that it's time to kind of like it's al it almost feels like a, those bricks again have almost been like surrounding your aura in a way it's like just drop them there's a feeling of just drop them and so a lot of or a good way to do that is through crying um so if you need to just like set aside some time to tap into your emotions and like let yourself cry you will feel much lighter and it's actually something which is like it's just it's like releasing it all from your system kind of um and yeah with the siren here too for someone again super specific i'm being shown something about your voice is 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 part of this talent that may not be for everyone but well, I guess the voice can be for many different like things and professions. It could be uh, maybe you are speaking to people. Maybe you are like on YouTube, for example, or you're called to do that. You could be a singer. You could also just be using your voice in whatever way that is. It could even just be through writing. It could be through the things that you're putting out there in the world, the the art that you're putting out there, just whatever it is, it's supposed to, it's like at a point now where it's something here with this chariot like you're called to something and i think that for a lot of you even if you already have like a successful sort of you know mission or purpose it's it's about a deeper calling that opens you up to the next kind of layer of that um yeah yes look we have the phoenix I, yeah, I keep hearing that. Leave that. Actually, they want to pull a card on that. I keep hearing that. I keep seeing those tons of bricks that are falling. And I keep hearing, leave the past in the past. I actually feel too like this is, again, it's going to be different for everyone. It may not even be like one specific situation. It's almost a feeling to where maybe your soul right now is starting to feel that urge to just like release, surrender. Um, maybe it's coming through in a way to where you just feel like you can't quite understand or pinpoint it, but you just feel like you need to set down this bag of bricks. Or maybe you start to feel like it's just like, I just can't fight kind of anymore, or I can't go uphill anymore. There's just a feeling to where that is accurate, like that's in alignment right now. So whatever you can do to purge, release, and just kind of surrender, I guess, in any way, is the is what the message is here. Just Just deeply surrender. Um, because it seems like on the other side of that surrender is the opening of kind of this deeper wisdom and a deeper calling not only related to i'm hearing your 
voice or your talents but it's kind of everything it could be your love life too it's like it's almost like the the things that will start to call you and the things that you are going to start to call what you're seeking is seeking you kind of feeling will become more uh, on your radar and will become more evident here very soon because of this releasing that's happening. It's like after the storm, your desires are much closer in proximity than, than where they were before that cloud had passed. And I'm getting, I'm hearing it's a big cloud. So for a lot of you, this is a very big cloud. So maybe it's a cloud that has been, you know, lingering for years or for lifetimes even. It's just been, you know, raining over um, your life here. Okay, yeah, the, the Four of Wands. So this feels actually with that message I heard in the beginning about the world is yours. That was at the bottom when I had shuffled and here it is again. So it just feels like you're entering into a very stable chapter where... I'm hearing the pieces are coming together. Yeah, it's kind of like that quote, sometimes things have to fall apart to fall back together. There's a feeling to where a lot of things are going to start to fall back together for you. And the storm has either already passed or you're having to go through the storm right now. And I'm hearing embrace the storm. It's almost like embrace the rain, go out in the storm, kind of feeling let the rain wash over you um, because something very beautiful is on the other side of that storm and with the siren here it's definitely i'm hearing spirits say you can't understand it now so they don't want to really go too much into that i guess but whatever this is you can't fully understand it or wrap your mind around it right now but it will become more in view soon so just trusting that kind of this new foundation that is coming in for you it almost feels like this siren here is what's it's that feeling again i'm getting of like what you're seeking is seeking you whatever that's going to mean for you specifically something is going to like it's almost like this house is becoming on the track now you can kind of see it um you can see it twinkling in the distance and this home kind of represents somewhere that you've been trying to get to for a long time i'm hearing some sort of happiness joy stability romance everything that you've been seeking within yourself it's like with the world is yours for the taking this home kind of represents everything that can be created in that home so yeah they don't they want to say that it's kind of a bit of a mystery um i'm hearing for some of you that this is an impending kind of shift that's happening and again i'm being told that for some of you you're you're fighting it though so whether you're fighting it because you're refusing to surrender or whether you're fighting it because you're refusing to let go of things that you know you have to let go of there's just a feeling to where your higher self and your guides are like trying to push you forward right now to surrendering and to going through this phoenix um kind of process i'm hearing go for the gold so I don't know what that means. So let's just get one final message. Let's get one final message here. Spirit, show me a, um, like a blank sheet of paper with like an outline of a house in the color gray. And I'm hearing fill in the colors and they're showing me like a box of colored pencils so this kind of feels to me like again the world is yours that's actually what they want to say here um, they want me to explain more about that before we get the final card that what they mean by that is now it's your turn to pick up the, the, the paintbrush or pick up the colored pencils and whatever that home looks like for you maybe some people want to color it you know like a colorful color maybe you want to color it the colors of nature Everyone's going to have a different vision for what that is, but they're just saying that maybe that box of colored pencils or crowns wasn't accessible to you before because in a way, um, it just feels like in, in whatever in whatever that was, you weren't maybe, either you weren't ready to step into this power yet, or with the Queen of Swords, you know, it's like you had to fully realize your potential or you had to fully see things for what they really are um which is happening now for you and it's been happening and so this is almost like 
jumped you forward on a new timeline here. So now the world, you can color it in how you want. So I feel like what they mean too by that is that your life can be as joyous as you want it to be. You can manifest whatever you want to manifest. You are kind of the, you're in a place of, of you're in a position of leadership and charge here with the crone. And so, yeah. I'm here, I just heard this has been a big undertaking. So for some of you, definitely, yeah, you you have come here with a very important and powerful mission that maybe Spirit's kind of acknowledging that you have taken, this has been a very big undertaking for you in this lifetime. We have helping others is something you find yourself doing all the time, even if you know that it may not be in your best interest. Finding yourself at times being taken advantage of by the takers of this world. That was at the bottom. And then we have many friends are acquaintances. There are very few that genuinely get you or ever see the whole you. You develop a deep bond with a very few here. And so these cards are very like star seed cards. So definitely some of you can resonate with being a star seed. And I feel like that's actually what it is. I'm getting this feelings of chills actually with this because some of you are going to be meeting people who you felt maybe misunderstood. So they're actually taking me back to the very original message that I forgot about, about uh, the distinct, unique part of you that came up in the beginning. Some of you here, you have a very unique frequency that is not easily understood by mainstream, you know, like society and, and most people. And I think Spirit's saying to see that as a gift. And that could be this actual, the whole summary of this message is that you're beginning to see the gift in your uniqueness and you're beginning to see how sacred and special your energy is. And you may have given yourself so much to people in the past and you've maybe given yourself so much to, again, family came up strongly. So maybe it was a certain role that you played in your family. It may have been a certain um, kind of societal expectation that you had to fit yourself into or that you felt that you had to. And there's something developing and opening within you now to where it's like you're going towards what your soul it feels really beautiful with the siren it's it's like that what you're seeking is seeking you is someone or a group of people that really match and understand you in a way that you haven't been understood because you've been able to get to this position within yourself now so i think with this here you're dropping the burdens of other people whether you're doing this Again, like actually, I think that could be a message for some of you if if you feel like you know that you have to start to kind of clean away your life and maybe the people in it, the things that you've been giving to that haven't given back to you, but it can be energetically too, where those patterns are being released, your hands are free. Um, and as your hands are free, you're inviting in now what truly resonates with your soul. And then lastly, we have an attraction to ancient civilizations and time periods your spirit may have incarnated within that civilization. And now you contain the collective consciousness of that time. So maybe some of you are drawn to a certain um, civilization. There could be something that, for some reason, I just heard music. So I don't know what, how that, what that means, but um That could be a very specific message for somebody watching. Maybe you're drawn to create a certain type of music and it could come from some previous lifetime. Maybe it's similar to a certain style of music during that time period or just something something about that. But I think for others of you, um, there's definitely this strong feeling. I keep getting the, like this tingling feeling in the body where there's some sort of call and it seems like the call is coming from this deep inner knowing that something is right for you um, or that it's, I don't know how to put it, how to explain it. It's like with the crone, it's like everything's kind of clicking or it's about to click more into place as to like why you're here or, or like who you are. Um, and you may even be connecting the dots to that specific kind of like I, I keep getting like who you are
yeah so I will leave it here um, I wanted to just do a bit of a shorter type of reading update but I will be um, expanding a bit more on this you know in in later readings this week but I hope that this was helpful and I hope that whoever needed to hear this was uh, drawn to this reading and that you could resonate with this message so I will leave it here. Um, if you do want to check out our Patreon community, I do post exclusive pick a card readings as well as uh, weekly prediction scrying readings over there. And the details for personal readings are also down below in the description box. So I will talk to you all next time. Take care and lots of love.